Right, so here we go then, the Easy Educator, the Easy 900. Um, same unit as for the 902, 903, whatever, but this is just programmed to a single dog. So this is the Easy 900 Educator from eCollar Technologies. We've got the transmitter over here and we've got the receiver collar over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly show you, run through how to use this um, remote training collar. Uh, on the back we've got a little red dot and we've got a corresponding little red dot on the receiver there. So this is obviously the bit that the dog wears, this is the bit that you use to operate the bit that the dog wears. To turn it on we have a magnetic switch, so these two red dots need to pretty much touch together or close to one another. They don't always have to be exactly on top of one another, but relatively close to one another and what you'll see is that when we do that, the green light comes on on the collar and it will flash to let me know that it's on and it's charged. If I touch them again, you'll see that it goes red, which switches the collar off. Okay, but for this, I'm going to switch it on and keep it on. Right, so there we go. So this one's on. Now to turn on the actual transmitter on the side, uh, on the right hand side, as you look at it, you've got a P button, which is your program, and your on off button. My on off button, I'm going to press and hold. When I press and hold that, it turns the actual transmitter on. Can you see that? Now sometimes, depending on how I move this transmitter, you'll just get a blue glare instead of the actual um, letters and numbers that are visible. See, when it turns the backlight off, then it's far easier to see for a camera. And what you've got on there, you've got 1D flashing at the top to tell us that it's programmed for a one dog operation. You've got 0, 0 in the middle, which is your level of stimulation. You've got a battery indicator at the bottom. And you've got M, V, T and C working clockwise from the top left hand um, corner, if you like, of the display. Now these buttons, these numbers, V, T, M and C, that would be V, that would be T, that would be C, that would be M. Okay, so M is the top corner, then we've got V, then we've got T, then we've got C. Just the same that we've got M, V, T, C, they correspond to these four buttons on here. M is momentary stimulation, so if I turn this on and get a level of stimulation, so I get six, and I'm going to press and hold M, See, so you just get that tiny little flash, tiny little red blip on the collar. It's momentary. It's just a fraction of a second's worth of stimulation. Whereas the C, the continuous, when I press and hold that button, it will deliver a constant or a continuous stimulation to the remote collar until I let go. I think up to about 10 seconds or something that will stop and you'll need to reapply it just to um, prevent accidental overstimulation or somebody wanting to keep their finger on the button for whatever reason they may have. Um, here we've got V, which is vibrate, makes the button, uh, makes the receiver just buzz, the same as a mobile phone on page. And here we've got T, which is tone, makes it beep. Okay, just you can use that for whatever. Some people use it to as a precursor to uh, stimulation. Uh, other people use it as a clicker, or you can use it as an attention grabber. Whatever you want, you know, it can become your recall signal if you like. Personally, I don't use it. Uh, the vibration sometimes, the momentary rarely, the continuous all the time, whether it's continuously applied like this or whether I'm tapping in the same sense that you'd get the momentary, but that's the button I generally tend to use more than any other. Uh, the program button here, if I want to change what these buttons do, if I press in, I take myself down to zero, so this thumb dial up here turns the stimulation levels up and down from zero up to high, which is the top, right the way back down. Okay, so if we put ourselves on about seven, so I want to change what this button here does. So it's the M, right? It's the top left, it's the M. So I press and hold my uh, program button, press and hold the P, and then as I tap this button here, oh sorry, I need to be on zero, my mistake. I've just locked it. There we go. Here we go, take myself down to zero. Press and hold the program button, and then tap the M button, and you'll see it toggles, look. V, T, M, C, and wherever I stop it is what I get. See how it says 51 in the window. I'm going to stop it on M again and release. It isn't 51, it's S1. Meaning that this is the stimulation button over here, look. See there? So that's S1, S2, S3, S4. So if I were to do the same with S3, see if I press the program button and then press that one there. See how it says 53? It isn't 53, it's S3. It's just telling me that I'm working with that button. Okay, so by turning the dial to zero, pressing in the P button on the side, and then picking whichever one it is that I want, and toggling it, I can have any button to represent any feature from vibration, tone, momentary, or continuous stimulation. There's a light on here as well. If I press this momentarily, 
you'll see the collar starts to flash. That's the on off button I've pressed momentarily. And now I'm gonna press it again. The light's on continuous, press it again to turn it off. Okay, so I toggle. If I press it and hold it, it'll switch the unit off. If I press it just for a moment, it'll bring my light onto flash. Press it, press it again, it's on full. Press it again, it's off. All right, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So for the purposes of this collar, I'm gonna use this one as vibration, this one as tone, this one as continuous, as is shown in the window, but where the M is, I'm gonna change that M also to continuous. There we go. So now these two buttons on the side are my continuous stimulation. The reason that I'm doing that is because it's far easier to press one of these two buttons and roll the stimulation level up and down than it is to be doing the same with these ones on the front. I just find it far more uh, ergonomic to be able to hold the unit and use the buttons on the side as my stimulation buttons whilst using my thumb to uh, turn the levels up and down. Okay, so we're going to switch it off. To switch it off, down to the bottom here, press the on off. Away we go. Press this one off, red to red, red light. All done. Happy days.